Okay, so in the coming weeks, there is a chance that you might have to be working from home while the rest of your class and your teachers are still in school. So for example, uh, you might need to self-isolate because um, you've been told to. So the expectation is that you will still need to be getting on with work and following your normal timetable. And so to support this, uh, your teachers have been uh, putting in a lot of work, preparing lots of resources in each Google Classroom that you have that follows the different um, topics and activities you're doing. Um, so I've got here uh, my Google Classroom and I can see I've got a science class here. So I'm just going to click through and have a look at my science class as an example. So here we go. So the thing I really want to look at specifically now is at the bottom you can see a button that says classwork. So I'm going to click on that and you can see now that my teachers have started to organize my work into topics. So there's just activities for me to do if I'm not in school. So there will be separate topics for your just normal homework and that's not part of this process. So you just do your normal homework as you always would, hand it in, submit it back to your teacher. But this is specifically um, tasks and activities your teachers have organized based around the topics you're doing in lesson in case you have to work from home. So we've got here some biology work and some physics work and you could click on some of these and you'd see there's some different resources. Now I've just put a, a bunch of documents in there as an example. So I could see there's different documents. I could click through those, have a look, see the kind of things um, my teacher wants me to do and then I could either uh, work on some paper or I could um, do something on my Google Drive. So it doesn't matter how you do it. Um, but your teacher won't set you uh, an assignment to hand in every single day. So what we've done is every single Google Classroom has this thing you can see at the top here. It says remote learning submission. So there's a special topic called remote learning submissions and you'll find this in every classroom, English, science, maths, all of them. So if you're doing science like I am now, I'm going to go to this remote learning submissions assignment in this one, click on it, and you can see here, there's just some instructions that said you can hand in any work that you do independently. And the good thing about this is you can hand work in over and over again, and we'll have a look at that in a moment. So I'm now going to add some work. I've already done some work on this in the past, so I'm gonna swipe up from the bottom and I can see here, here's some work I handed in in the past. Um, I handed it into my teacher, they returned it to me. You can see here they've even given me a few comments at the bottom. Um, and now the work is open again for me to hand something in. So when you first look at this, there'll be no attachments, um, but as you go on and on, um, there'll be work on there. So I've already handed this in and deciding, you know what, I don't. Need, my teacher's already seen this work, I'm gonna remove these. So I'm gonna just click the little X from each of those. because they've already been looked at and I don't want this list to get longer and longer. So now you can see, add attachment. Now this looks the same, very similar or if you're doing it on a website, on the Google Classroom website, you click add attachment and you would see drive, link, file. But one of the good things of doing this on an iPhone or an Android phone is that you can use the camera. So you can just take a photo of your work and send it to your teacher. So I'm gonna use camera. Here we go, so here's some work I've done. Um, Ignore the fact it says addition, this is science. We'll just take a photo of that. That looks pretty good, so I'll hand that in. Use photo. That'll just take a moment or two to upload. And then you can do this over and over again. You could click add attachment, add another page. So if you've done multiple pages, then you could hand in three, four, five uh, pages of work. It really doesn't matter as much as you've done. And then you wait till that uploads, and then you can just click uh, mark as done Let's have a look. Here we go, Mark is done. And now I'm done, and now I'm going to click hand in. And it's really important to click hand in. If you just upload documents, your teacher won't see them. You must do this final step of hand in. So you can see there's a status at the top that says assigned. We need that to change and tell us that it's been handed in. Hand in your work, question mark? Definitely, hand it in. And there we go, down the bottom now it says assignment handed in. And at the top, you can see it says handed in. Now, let's say you've got science again tomorrow and your teacher hasn't had a chance yet to look at this work, but you wanna hand some more things in. So at the minute, there's no button to hand anything else in. So what you can do is you say, you know what? I'm gonna hand in some more. So I'm going to just unsubmit it for a moment. So click unsubmit. Yes, I'm gonna unsubmit. 
and this is so I can add additional attachments. So now the add attachment button's come back. So let's click on that, take another photo. There we go. All right, perfect. There we go, that looks pretty good. All right, and so that's gonna take a moment to load. Okay, so that has now added, and you can see now there's two attachments on there. So the first photo I took, and now the second one, and you could do this over and over again. Hand in, yep, handing in, and bam, off it goes, and we'll just wait again, and we can see, there we go, assignment handed in, and now the status at the top says handed in. So this is all you need to do um, for every single, of your, single one of your subjects if you have to work from home. So I could slide down, And that's pretty much all you need to do. So your teacher will, over time, give you feedback, but you'll keep seeing these assignments in each one of your subjects, and you can just hand them in. Your teacher sends them back, hand them in again, over and over again. There's no need for you to find extra um, assignments for your teachers or ask them for work. You can just submit your work through here. And of course, if you have any questions, then make sure you send a message to someone in your chapter team, perhaps, or directly to your teacher.